Hey guys, it's Troy. Today we're going to be looking at Zubuntu 20.10 here on Mainstream Linux. Okay, let's get into it here. This has just been released. Um, very lightweight. Zubuntu is known for being lightweight and running on the XFC desktop. XFCE, sorry. <laughs> Getting a little early this morning, but uh, comes out of the with a decent little background. Let's see what we got here. Do we have other backgrounds? We got to do that through settings, but let's go up here first. Let's see what we got. Web browser. You open the web browser. I do believe it's, it is Firefox out of the box. And let's look at the next one. Mail reader. Is that going to be Thunderbird? I'm not quite sure what XFCE comes with. Yes, it comes with Thunderbird out of the box. And file manager. I believe it comes with Thunar. Okay. Let's open that up. Okay. That looks pretty nice. It's a nice, clean looking interface. Um, you know, minimalistic, if that's your cup of tea. Uh, LibreOffice Writer. Let's see what version it comes with. It should come with the same one that Ubuntu does, so. If I'm correct, it should be 7.0.2.2. Yes, it does. Okay. So basically, you're not losing much with XFCE. It's just very minimalistic, very lightweight. Accessories, catfish file search, archive manager, file manager, fonts. Oh, it's got the Mate calculator, mouse pad, notes, uh, screenshot, terminal emulator. Okay. Okay, for those that play games, it's got Mines, SGT Puzzle Collection, Sudoku, Graphics. Oh, it comes with GIMP out of the box. That's great. Oh, it comes with the Restretto Image Viewer, uh, LibreOffice Draw, Document Scanner, uh, Internet, Thunderbird Mail, Transmission as the tor Torrent, Multimedia, Parole. It comes with the Parole Media Player, the Pulse Audio Volume Control, and of course there's the complete... LibreOffice. Let's go check out. Okay, let's go check out the settings real quick. Okay. We've got appearance. What can we do on appearance? Okay, so you got the... Can you change it? Oh, okay. That goes to dark. How about Greybird Dark? So, you get a little... You know, not my cup of tea dark-wise. I like a, a, a pretty more, you know... I like darker, darker, but that'll work. Uh, elementary XFCE's icons, elementary. Okay, so it's using the elementary icons and toolbar icons. Okay. So let's go back. Let's reopen that. I don't know why it didn't let me go back there. Okay. Seems like it's a little... You see that down there, guys? Where it doesn't want to give me the corner stretch. I don't know why. Can I do it up top? It gives it to me up top. Okay. It's a little, a little sticky down there. Um, desktop. Okay, so it, it does come with quite a few wallpapers. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, let's stick with the lighthouse one. Menus. Include applications. Okay, so it's just got your... Where you can adjust your menus on your uh, desktop. Now can you go back? Okay, back to all settings. Language and support, panel profiles, panel, notifications, uh, preferred applications, screensaver, window manager, window manager, tweaks, workspaces, XFCE terminal. Um, let's see if I click the panel. Okay, so it just pretty much lets me adjust and add anything or remove anything from the panel. Okay, that'll work. I don't have much experience with XFCE, um, but I know there are quite a few people out there that do and like the lightweight and like the just quickness and not the bloated look of it or the crowded look of it, so that's why I wanted to do a quick look at it. So you got your additional drivers here, so if you've got, after you start on the USB or you've installed it, if you're having any kind of small issues, you can go ahead and bump that up. Or get that running to get your adapters and drivers for your adapters mouse and touchpad 
uh, keyboard display it still had the same issue on here I can run by 1600 by 1200 but it won't let me run <coughs> yeah see for some reason it won't let me change it so is what it is that's what happens when you're a virtual box so I'm sorry for the black bars over here guys accessibility install light DM GDK greeter settings mime type editor time and date software and update software updater session startup so your typical standard setup screen we've already went through here it seems pretty quick and pretty snappy but of course you know it's very lightweight it doesn't have a lot uh, desktop environment wise it's going to slow you down let's see file system yeah we've already looked at the Thunor I do like the, the setup over here though I like the file systems up top some some of them when you're using the distribution all your places will be appearing in the file system will be down here so I mean it's just little things like that and I don't know yeah you can't can you drag yeah you can drag and just move these wherever you want them obviously so but that you know for a quick look at Zubuntu if you're looking for something lightweight but you like the Ubuntu side of things it's definitely one I'd give a, a, a look at um, it's quick it's simple everything's just right in front of you uh, it's the Ubuntu you know but with the XFCE DE so I mean it's definitely something to look at um, I appreciate y'all watching today. Like I said, this was just a quick look. Please leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button so when my next video comes out, you know. Thank you for watching.